A city in the Shoals is making people pay to apply to city jobs. Tuscumbia City Council just passed a $10 application fee after they say several people failed to show up for an interview after the city paid for a background check on them. WFO 48's Aria Pons live now for us in Tuscumbia. Aria, Tuscumbia appears to be the only city in that region charging people to apply for a job. I reached out to several Shoals City leaders and the mayor of Sheffield says that to save costs, they like to do the background checks after the application and the interview process. Now, Tuscumbia City officials say they like to do it before just to make sure that some of these people are can be hired in the first place. 20 applications and only 10 show up. We, we want people to know that, that we're here and we're serious about it and we want you to be serious about it too. Tuscumbia City Council members just approved a $10 fee for anyone applying for a city job, anything from public works to police officer. The Civil Service Board recommended the fee when a lot of people weren't showing up for the interview portion. It's a very lengthy process that a lot of work goes into and we really want people to have a personal investment when they come to Tuscumbia to get a job. It's not just coming and putting in an application and that's it. We want people to come to the interviews. We want them to see what we have to offer. City Council Member Katie Logan says it takes anywhere from $25 to $80 to run a thorough background check. She says the fee is to offset those charges and make sure that people have skin in the game when it comes to applying. We really want them to see it through. At first, she was against the fee because she says she understands. $10 may be your next meal or it could mean the difference in ensuring bills get paid. $10 was for me specifically a hard number to swallow and I know that that doesn't seem like a big amount in the end, but I'm a firm believer that every dollar adds up. Eventually, she says she came to understand that they have to trust the Civil Service Board to do what's right for the city. She says the fee's not there to scare you away or punish anyone. It's there to make sure that you follow through with the process. We don't want that to hinder anyone. We want them to know that that when you do that, you're putting your hope and faith in Tuscumbia, that we're going to be here for you because you're there for us. Logan says the fee isn't set in stone. She says if they see that no one's really applying for the jobs, then the council can revisit it and take that fee away. Reporting live in Tuscumbia, Aria Pons, 48 on your side.